What's going on everyone? This is Dom and I've been wandering the floors of CES 2019 looking for some cool tech to show you. And I think I found some stuff, so let's check it out. All right, so first up, we are checking out Amber right here. And this is the world's first all-in-one AI-powered smart storage platform. And a big shout out to Latticework for sponsoring this portion of the video. So basically, Amber here is a combination of Google Photos, Dropbox, with a little bit of Apple TV just sprinkled in there. And everything that you have can be stored on here from your phone. So basically, it's app-powered, right? And you can have this thing back up your photos and videos instantly without doing anything. They're stored right on the device, and you can access them remotely, which is what's so special about this. And it's also a Wi-Fi router and it organizes all your data in here. Another cool thing that I've learned is that you can actually cast from this. Like let's say you have a Google Chromecast in another room. You can cast your videos to any TV in your house with a Google Cast and it also supports uh, DLNA and, and things like that as well. Now Amber does start out at 549 and you're getting a dual hard drive configuration in here in RAID 1 which is cool. Now on top of that it does have multi-user support and file sharing as well which is super good especially if, if you're keeping you know photos and videos from your phone on this. And in case you're wondering there's absolutely no subscription fees here because well Latticework actually manages and maintains their own cloud platform. So this thing is compatible with Android, iPhone, Windows, and Mac, and it'll be shipping in a couple of months. So really good stuff here with Amber. All right, so next up, we are checking out this crazy TV from LG. It actually rolls into the base. This is 65 inches of awesome rolling TV. I, I don't even know how this thing works, but literally, when it's done, you see it going down here. It will literally roll down into the base and it's gone like nothing ever happened. So I think this is awesome. There's no price point yet, but hopefully we'll figure out one pretty soon and we'll be able to get a hold of it for ourselves. All right, so speaking of TVs, we actually have a Samsung Smart TV right here and it has iTunes loaded onto it, which I think is pretty cool. That is a game changer right there. Having iTunes movie and TV shows on a Samsung Smart TV is absolutely incredible. All right, so here we are with a little bit of a treat from Razer. So this is the turret for Xbox One, and this is a mouse and keyboard combo here that you literally plug a little dongle into your Xbox One and you can game like you're gaming on a PC, but on an Xbox, so it's pretty cool here. So this whole combo right here, the mouse pad is actually integrated into the keyboard and you can slide it out and then you can be able to game freely. But the cool thing here is, I love that they built in a magnet. So look at that. I can just like tilt it and it actually holds the mouse and it's got a lot of weight to it as well, which is nice because well, when it's on your lap and you're sitting on your couch, you want like a firm, you know, platform for gaming, which is pretty cool. And this thing, it's actually available for pre-order right now. It's $249. It's going to be shipping very soon and it supports Chroma RGB, of course, because duh, it's Razer. So this thing is pretty awesome and I'm looking forward to checking it out myself. Nice build as well with an aluminum finish here on the top. It's awesome all around. And before I forget, this is the Razer Raptor 27. This is a gaming monitor and as you can see, it's decked out with some Chroma, which is always nice. But this thing is gonna run you $700. It'll be out within the first half of 2019. It's a 27 inch panel, 1440p, 144 hertz refresh rate. And I mean, it just looks pretty amazing. The build quality here looks excellent, as we know from Razer stuff, but I'm just excited about this gaming monitor all around. All right, so that about wraps it up for this video. There's a ton of cool tech here, and if you've seen anything you want me to check out, drop it in the comments section below. And also, if you're not already, subscribe to the channel so that you can see more cool content like this in the future, and leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. This is Dom, and I'll catch you in the next video.